see him standing facing us. When that deer came out, he stood there probably for 15 minutes. No, oh, that's him. Tonight's nice headline, South Vietnam surrenders and the communists occupy Saigon. The year was 1975, and I was selling memberships to a national hunting club part-time while dealing used auto parts as my real job. With no money, no experience, I got the idea of starting a club of my own, sharing the unique culture of hunting across the Lone Star State. Our first magazine was called Texas Hunters Hotline, and it was an instant success. As the stories grew and the pages increased, so did the membership for the Texas Trophy Hunters Association, and the magazine took on the same name. Soon, we created the first Hunters Extravaganza that had never been done before, and in 1998 came the television show, Journal of the Texas Trophy Hunters. I'm Jerry Johnston. Join us as we chronicle the people, the culture, and the experience that is the Journal of the Texas Trophy Hunters. Are you impressed? I am always impressed. You've never brought me a deer that I have not been impressed with, Miss Mary. I'm impressed you. with that. I'm telling you, that is beautiful. Beautiful, man. I think we're gonna have to get a couple extra papers and some more pencils to scare, score that one. Yeah. <laughs> We had carried the deer down to get it scored at Muy Grande. But every year I end up, God has really blessed me. He always sends me a good deer out. How y'all doing? It's a gathering that starts to attract a lot of attention on this late November evening. Lifetime Texas Trophy Hunters member Marty Berry and his 87-year-old mother, Laura, have put in a long day hunting this incredible buck, then driving two hours to Freer, Texas. For the berries, Muy Grande Village is the first stop whenever they kill a big deer. After all, it's the oldest deer contest in Texas, and it's never too late at night to score a deer for the competition. In 9-6? Normally one person scores my deer. This time it took two. One abnormal? Kenneth would call out the numbers, and this gentleman was writing them down. I'd never had a page that full of numbers. I didn't score him, but we scored him on the hook at, at my, two or three of my buddies between 250 and 270. What'd you come up with? 268 and three tenths. Woo! Grande! Muy Grande, there you go. Congratulations. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Thank always... you. I was shocked when he said 268. He said, that makes you the big winner. I was shocked. It's getting close to midnight, but it's never too late to celebrate a whitetail buck and one woman's passion that goes back so many years. But this story of this hunt goes back only a few hours. Everything's in the blind right now? Yes. You need. Rifles yes. in the blind? A rifle, Rock. my rangefinder. Everything's there. Shells. shells. Shells there too. All right, we gotta have shells. We're on ready. Well, maybe he'll show up today. I hope. <laughs> I've seen him one time and I've never killed a deer like this before. So I, I'm, I'm really excited. I couldn't even sleep the night before last because I was thinking about it. Body-wise, he's not a monster, but head-wise, when it comes to antlers, he's really what everybody dreams about. And it's not a nightmare. It's one of the sweetest dreams you'd ever have. I've never killed a deer with uh, more than about 18 in points, I think. This one looks like, may not have, but he looks like he's got almost twice that deer. I'd left my gun in the blind. It was just me and my binoculars, <laughs> and I was ready. I said, my gun is named Ever Ready, and I have killed many, many deer with that gun. I've killed numerous hogs, all headshots. I couldn't even go to sleep last night because I was still thinking about that deer. Mike, when I had four little boys at home, I spent my early years taking those little boys hunting. That was my quality time, you know. I took that, every, every one of my boys were with me when I shot my first, when they shot their first deer. So I guess turnabout is fair play. It's time now they start taking care of their mother. Laura has been to this spot several times. In fact, 
she's been leaving her rifle and most of her gear inside the blind on this huge South Texas ranch. He put me out in the blind and uh, said, you may see him, you may not. Sometimes he comes and sometimes he doesn't. See him standing facing us. No, oh, that's him. Come on, baby. When that deer came out, he stood there probably for 15 minutes observing, looking to see what was going on. A deer like that always has a smaller deer running interference for him, just like uh, watching a good football game. That, that quarterback has people making way for him. Well, that buck didn't get all those antlers and points by being stupid. He's smart. The buck, just like clockwork, makes an appearance, but is hesitant to step all the way out for a shot. Oh my gosh, the sun's coming out. Another big buck steps out to this opening in the pasture, and that prompts Miss Barry's buck to finally put himself in a better position. He's moving now. That's him. See his his handlers look almost like they're pawing. It's everything she's asked for. Plenty of daylight. Her buck of a lifetime stepping out into full view. Well, hit the heat. Only thing is, as Marty gets his mother into shooting position, the buck unceremoniously turns and walks back into the brush. No one knows what was going on inside of me. I was having a nervous breakdown. <laughs> About the time Miss Barry's nervous breakdown takes over, more bucks start moving down the hill out of the brush. And it may be the only thing that'll bring her buck back. A little competition as the Journal of the Texas Trophy Hunters continues. The Journal of the Texas Trophy Hunters is made possible through a partnership with Kubota. For every task, every terrain, there's a Kubota dealer in your area. Sniper hunting products, changing the game of wireless game cameras, and Horizon Firearms, custom long-range rifles and accessories. Where I came from, ladies never hunted. I'd never shot a gun, and the uh, man I fell in love with and married was a hunter. The first thing he did was put a 22 pistol in my hand, then he got me a 20 gauge shotgun, and then I started out hunting deer with a 30 off six. 87 year old Laura Berry has just let a huge whitetail slip right through her hands, but there's still daylight left, and the sight of more bucks coming out of the opening gives her hope. To say this is the first time she's done this would be the furthest thing from the truth. Laura Berry's won many a deer contest for many years. Which one is it? Well, you just look at, look, at the, look at the deer and then figure out which one. Now, you know I would not shoot any of these, but I would shoot that one. Now, I want you to look. Marty fell in love with this deer when he, when he saw it. It was last year's Texas Trophy Hunters Extravaganza Deer Contest where Laura Berry showed me her buck from the previous hunting season. I grabbed my 300, yeah. set, set my tripod up, yeah. and asked my nephew, you want to wake up and see me shoot a, a, a trophy deer? He's asleep in the blind? Uh, no, he was asleep on the bed. I shot him out of the dining room. Ah. <laughs> Never shot a deer there before. This little house was built in the 30s. Oh my goodness, it was a people's choice. It was the number one deer. Made me feel so good. And here's all the people I knew back there and everyone loved my deer, including myself, when I shot it. In a way, Laura Berry is whitetail royalty in these parts. You do know that she is the first number one platinum life member that is a female. Back more than 30 years ago, when I started offering Platinum Lifetime memberships to Texas trophy hunters, Laura Berry signed up quick, snatching the second Lifetime membership ever. I'm number two Platinum Life member. Was the only lady for many, many years, but the thing about it is, 
I have gotten involved in a lot of things that most women are not exposed to. I got involved so I could spend time with my family. My husband taught me how to hunt because I'd never hunted. I was a good listener and I learned fast. Miss Berry is not here at the Hunter's Extravaganza to brag about her book. She's here for something much bigger than a deer contest. Hi, Tyrone. Very nice meeting you. Very nice to meet you. Only minutes before a very good. public good. ceremony, Laura Berry wanted to meet the man whose life she just changed. You see, Miss Berry is a championship shooter who gives exhibitions all over the country, raising money for veterans and charities. This is the man that's going to receive the house. How you do? I'm great. You just don't know how I feel about it. American combat hero Tyrone Segrist takes his first chance backstage to thank the woman who gave him a new home. There's no way to express our gratitude. I, all I can say is thank you from my heart for what you have done for us. And it's about to make a public presentation. This is one of the greatest things I've ever done in my life. It's the most rewarding to uh, be able to help some of our military. They gave me the mic, and it's all I can do to, to I have such a lump in my throat. It's all I can do to even talk. First, congratulations. This is a big key to your house. Enjoy your home. We give them a tax-free home. The first year, we didn't get to give it as a tax-free home, but we went to Washington and got the laws changed, and now it is tax-free home for the men and ladies that go over and give their lives for us. To the trophy hunters, Bank of America, General Cisco, Miss Barry. The man was just beside himself with gratitude. He did not know how he would make a living for his family. There wasn't a dry eye there when we gave the key to him. Five years ago, one of my friends called me and asked me to get a team of shooters together, and we were shooting for special forces. And I came in second in fundraising, and the man who killed Bin Laden came in first. <laughs> so thank you. I, I just can't, I can't, I can't say thank you to this woman enough, like, you have to see this, this key is symbolic, but your actions just go, you say this is the greatest thing you've done in 87 years, and this is the biggest thing that someone has done to me, and it'll be your life. Yes. For all of us at Texas Trophy Hunters, it was an honor to be a part of such an incredible effort. Headed by a strong-willed woman whose trigger finger is changing lives. It's an honor for me to just walk with her to the door after a day like this. It's something I really believe in. And when we give that house away, it is the most wonderful feeling in the world. Congratulations. Okay, thank, you. thank you, baby. Five minutes before dark, and Miss Barry finds the crosshairs again as the Journal of the Texas Trophy Hunters continues. This segment of the Journal of the Texas Trophy Hunters is made possible through a partnership with Horizon Firearms, custom long-range rifles and accessories. I am so lucky. I'm so lucky. I have a son that knows all about deer. And uh, I thought I did, but he knows lots more than me, but I don't let him know that. It's not every day that Marty Berry, busy with his business, and his mom, Laura, busy with her charity work, can get together in a deer blind. But it's funny how a huge buck spotted several times in this South Texas pasture can make people change their schedules. It was almost 10 years ago in this footage seen for the first time when Marty guided his mother on another hunt on the other side of the ranch. This is him. This is him. Yeah, that is him coming down here. That's him. I made a whistle. You whistled and scared off my first year. You want me to whistle? No, don't you be saying that. He has lots of points. He's not a typical deer, and he has two drop tines on the right hand side. And that's what I identified him with whenever I saw him. That's him. Yeah, well, let me check and see if it looks like him. He's on the back now, right? By himself on the right. You know, take your safety off. Get ready to shoot him because it's getting late. 
your safety off first. Don't shake. I'm not shaking. Oh, gosh. You hit him? Well, I wasn't shaking. Mom, he hey, fell right in the road. You're kidding. He's right right down here by the water trough. I just see him right here. That's terrific. Here, hold on. You need help? Mm -mm. Okay. Look. He's, there oh he is. Oh my god. Oh, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. <laughs> he didn't he didn't he didn't he didn't make it as far as I thought he did. That's a pretty good beast. What do you think? Oh, I've never had one to run off like that before. They always dropped. That's pretty good deer. That's, I think that may be your biggest deer yet. I think it is. But I can tell you one thing. He's going to score. It didn't look any bigger to you right now than that, that eight point whenever I killed it when I was six years old. Absolutely. It looked just like that, that 08. Let's see what we got here. Oh my God. I told you that's going to be a pretty good buck, Mom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Oh, I didn't see any on the bike. 18 <laughs> points. Woohoo! <laughs> oh my God. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> yes. Did you hear it? Did you hear me shoot? I think, maybe. Just one shot. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> right there. One. That's three generations. I'm just so delighted I'm here to be a part of what they enjoy too. And I did have something to do with it. Because the, we, we taught our boys to love the outdoors and hunting. Yeah, I'm glad you hunted with me. <laughs> it's really an emotional, you don't know I'm trying to hold back the tears. <laughs> And when I, I was sitting there with them, I, 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 not only for myself, but I know how much my husband Marvin would have enjoyed seeing this, three of us together. She's lost sight of a big buck, but hasn't lost hope just yet as the journal of the Texas Trophy Hunters continues. Closed captioning for the Journal of the Texas Trophy Hunters is made possible through a partnership with Sniper Hunting Products, changing the game in wireless game cameras. The buck she's been dreaming of her whole life has just nonchalantly walked off into the brush, leaving Marty Berry and his mom, Laura, wondering if this hunting trip was all for nothing but only total darkness will run them off from this hunting blind in South Texas. Oh, I was thrilled to death when he came back out. Under the night and the grass come to us. Our hogs are coming. A spotted hog has just joined the group, threatening to chase all the deer off, like so often before. Like Miss Barry predicted, her buck spooks from the obnoxious swine. I've always been an optimist. The hogs scared the deer off, all the bucks, and uh, I just thought he would be back. The chances of her buck returning before dark seem slim at best. Marty and his mom scan the brush, waiting and watching the light grow dimmer with every passing minute. Then, much to their surprise, he's back. He came in just enough for me to identify him, and he is over there standing real big and proud, rubbing his antlers up in on a limb. Look at the points on that sucker. It's when you poke that gun out the window and you put that crosshair on that shoulder, you do get a little excited. I didn't get a little excited. I got excited, exclamation point. You gotta take it off safety, take your time. Good shot, good shot. Oh, sweet Jesus, thank you. See, I get nervous after I shoot. I have the balls in him. <laughs> yeah, well, you know what? You got a second chance. A lot of people don't get that on the hey, deer. Just step out best you can. You don't need to hear. When that deer dropped, I always, when good things happen to me, I say, thank you, Jesus. 
because to me it is uh, just a wonderful feeling. That was uh, an experience of a lifetime getting to shoot a deer like that deer was. I was shaking all over. I thought I had to chill. <laughs> My gosh, look at that sucker. <laughs> look at the points. Looks like a porcupine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh oh, there's a broken one. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. That one doesn't count. Twelve. That one doesn't count. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Ooh. It was amazing. I've never seen a deer with that many points. Well, it, that just added more to the excitement. I didn't think I would ever better what I have hanging on the wall, but I'll say this. This is better than everything I've shot. Absolutely beautiful. Thank you, Marty. You bet. Now, Mom, I'll hold just one hand. See if you can just hold one antler. Just one antler. I got it over here. Okay. One thing is for sure. Whether it's shooting for charity or presenting a home to a hero or whitetail hunting in the thick brush of South Texas, Laura Berry has never lost that passion for achievement. Over the years, so many people have benefited by her tireless efforts. At 87, Miss Berry may not move as fast as she once did, but it's moments like these when somewhere deep inside, the years fall away and heartfelt excitement fills that moment like it did so many years ago. You're doing all the good, Miss Barry. This is a photo shoot, like the paparazzis. You know how it is, you know? At my age, I just feel like I've been blessed that I can go hunting. Everybody is very nice to me, they understand, and they can't believe I'm as old as I am and do what I do. But I guess I'll be hunting till I'm about 110. It's a good life. That looks good. The Journal of the Texas Trophy Hunters is made possible through a partnership with Kubota. For every task, every terrain, there's a Kubota dealer in your area. Sniper hunting products, changing the game of wireless game cameras, and Horizon Firearms, custom long-range rifles and accessories.